Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Actually, no, that was yesterday. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, as people like to say, hump day, as we all know it. So, yeah. Happy Wednesday, everyone. For today, this morning, I'm making another um, art masterpieces video. Consider this number 35, and I have a very special one that I may show you guys. On. I have a very special collage artwork that I worked on last night. I may want to show you. So, yeah. It's a very special one, as you know, and this is tribute to, and this is dedicated tribute to a lad we, a wrestling fellow we lost last year in the summertime. I wish it was Bray Wyatt that I would that I would do my collage on, but it's not. Before before his passing came about, there was another lad that we all knew very much, and this lad was a wrestling trailblazer. He was even a hardcore native during his time in ECW. He knew how to bring the fight to those he always found himself against in hardcore matches, whether it became a hardcore environment or hardcore hostility. So, to tell you the truth, he always knew how to find himself with scars, stitches, and anything that related to him as an injury. But he still kept going. Yeah, you remember how ECW was. Just purgatory with craziness, chaos, and pretty much what's the number with, with crazy and chaos. I want to say chaos and anarchy. Definitely anarchy, as you can tell. So, yeah. So, to tell the truth, he was part of the ECW home. And if you don't remember this very much, I think I watched a video once on YouTube. I watched it a few times on YouTube. To tell the truth, I watched a video where Paul Heyman made a, remark about his, made a severe remark about his daughter. And this lad that I'm about to introduce you on the collage in a couple of minutes was not happy of what Heyman did or even said out of his mouth. He gave him the ass kicking warning saying, if you ever make another remark about my daughter again, I promise you I will kick your ass so bad that you're going to find yourself in the emergency room, whatever comes to you as a injury. And Paul Heyman, he learned the hard, he learned very much not to make another remark about someone's daughter ever again. So... And I'm not going to lie, you don't screw with somebody's child, especially making a remark about them as ever. So get ready as I show you my collage that I worked on. That's a very special one. So give me one second. And just to let you know that next week we head into February. Start with February first is on Thursday, and to tell the truth, I can't wait to show you what I've done for on um, February. And also, what relates to February is not only Valentine's Day but also Black History Month. So get ready as you keep your eyes open for that. So yeah. But other than that, let me. Sorry, just no, yeah. So other than that, I've got it out and. You guys are going to love this collage, so hold on a second, let me get it together with me. Yeah, hold on, just making sure. Yep, everything looks good. Sorry, just checking. Just checking, so yeah. Alright, so this collage was worked and done on a, on a wrestling lad who was inducted into the Hall of Fame, I want to say, back in 2009, along with his brother, um... Along with his brother Dory, so yeah, he and his brother really paved the way for the wrestling landscape to continue on where it is as of today. Got to start as a tag team, and then he made his way into singles competition, scoring titles in his um, in his destin on his destination, having arrived in WWE, and then finding himself in ECW, and he's battled against the likes of his hardcore legend best friend, I want to say, Mr. Mick Foley. Who everyone remembers in DCW known as Cactus Jack. Oh yes, the same Cactus Jack that was known for bringing weapons with him when he was when he was ready to go extreme and hardcore as you know it. And he's battled, and this lad that I did the collage on has battled alongside with Tommy Dreamer and his wife. I remember, I remember the three of them going against Edge, Lita. And Mick Foley at ECW's One Night Stand, 2006. I remember the match very much because this lad showed up with a 2x4 barbed wire weapon as it was set on fire, which I remember very correctly. 
It was like bringing back the good times of what you remember as ECW of those days. And yeah, and then I remember when he introduced a Mick, when this guy introduced Mick Foley into the WWE Hall of Fame Awards uh, class of 2013, he was like, what? You want me? <laughs> it was his way of bringing Mr. Sacco, that was Mick Foley's um, alter trademark with him, just to introduce Mick Foley into the Hall of Fame Awards. So, yeah. So, to tell the truth, this guy was a phenomenal dude, and I remember watching his matches from back then. He was also an actor, seen in a few films. The one I remember him seeing, I remember seeing him very much was, um, what was it? I want to say, oh yes, with Patrick Swayze, the Roadhouse, playing one of the lads trying to take out Dalton. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, but this lad was a phenomenal fellow. And then, to tell the truth, we lost him last year, who when he passed away at the age of 79, which, it was very devastating to see him go. And I was very heartbroken when I found out about the news. I was just devastated. But to tell the truth, the memory of him lives on forever as we remember him for what he has done to pave the way for all fellows that want to make it in the wrestling world. So here we go. Allow me to show the collage I have done on that became a very special one. My friends, say hello to the collage that I worked, that I had done and worked on. This collage was worked and done on WWE Hall of Famer, ECW Hardcore Native, Mr. Terry Funk. Gotcha. Right here. Ta-da. I'm not to tell the honest truth. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a if I wanted to make a collage of whoever I wanted to do on. So I was gonna do Terry Funk and then I was like, you know, I'll do something different, but then I was like you know, it's Terry Funk. He really paved the way for the wrestling landscape to see where it's at as of today. So, here we are with me holding up this collage of, I, of him that I did on. Yeah. He was also seen in the WWE. He went by a name that you all know very much familiarly. That you all know definitely. He was with Cactus Jack and they scored the WWE Tag Team titles during their time in WWE. He was known as, what's the name? Ah, oh, Yes. Chainsaw Charlie. Yep. And Mick Foley was still Cactus Jack as everyone remembers it. As everyone remembers that moment. So, yeah. I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see for yourselves. You see the hearts. One at the top. The other on the bottom. Terry Funk. Born in 1944. Passed away last year. In the summertime. I would put it down saying. A tribute to a hardcore native. Who knew hardcore in his own way. He really did. He even paved the way for those that he went against. His matches in ECW have been very memorable and legendary. Going against the likes of Sabu, Cactus Jack, I believe the Sandman. I think he also once took on, <clears throat> it was at a different wrestling event, but it was called Saturday Night's Main Event. It was a different event. It was um, him against Stone Cold Steve Austin. They are going face to face. So, yeah. But this lad, he was a real true, tra he was a real true trailblazer for all wrestling fellows, and everyone loved him very much, including Mick Foley. He even was by Mick Foley's side when he was known that when Mick Foley, who was wrestling as Mankind, took on the Undertaker at the 1996 King of the Ring event. The match took place inside a match that the Undertaker and every fellow that has stepped inside knows very much of, the Hell in a Cell match. Yep. I'll hold this up so you all can see for yourselves. Terry Funk, a wonderful lad. I'm not gonna lie, I miss him so much. And I definitely miss Bray Wyatt. I'm all the stuff so all your loves can see for yourselves. Especially those who happen to be wrestling fanatics.
off this up for a couple more minutes and then it'll be time to wrap this up. And I wish I was show more of the collages I have done, but I'm going to save those for another time. This one was very special to make on this pop. I mean, on this art masterpieces video, as this is number thirty-five. for a few more seconds that'll be time to definitely wrap this up sorry I almost did a collage on stack shock but I'm going to save that for another time okay more seconds left and then I will definitely wrap this up. Alright. Okay my friends. Sorry about that. Okay my friends, there you have it. That was the that was the special tribute collage I did and worked on that I worked and did on WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Terry Funk. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was the art masterpieces video number thirty five. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will make another one of these, and I'm saving for the next one as we head into February. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. I might do it on February first or the second. So. Keep your eyes open for either one of those days or somewhere around throughout February. So, yeah, keep your eyes open for that. But other than that, I just want to say thank you for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a wonderful thing to do. I'm glad I got to show you the special tribute collage I did. And I worked on and did, I worked and did on Mr. Terry Funk. God rest his soul. I miss him so much. I mean... I think about the matches that he had throughout his career, especially the one from One Night Stand 2006, teaming up with Tommy Dreamer and his wife, Bill McGillicuddy, going against Edge, McFoley, and Lita in a 6 next tag team showdown. And everyone remembers it so much that he came out having a 2x4 barbed wire weapon, having to set on fire to aim for um, McFoley. So you know the rest of the story. It happens. So, yeah. But I miss the lad so much. It's Terry Funk. It's no party without It'll be no party without him. But, you know, he has passed away. But the memory of him will live on forever as he's never forgotten throughout our hearts and everything we know about him so much. So, yeah. So, my friends, I just want to say thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, keep your eyes on the lookout for the next Art Masterpiece, Art Masterpiece video I put together. So, yeah. Please do keep your eyes on the lookout for that. And, then, and other than that, I say take care. Have a wonderful day. Please be careful out there. I believe most a lot of schools have a nine-minute delay because of the sleet on the road with ice and rain mixed together. So please be careful if you're driving out there or even walking out of the house. So please be careful as you know it. Other than that, take care my friends. I will see you next time.